Right, hey, we got to give some love, love to Absolutely. the Aggies, Absolutely. Right? Utah State, 3-0 and for the first time since 1978. It's been 43 years. They pull out just a wild game against Air Force last night in Colorado Springs. Logan Bonner was having a fantastic game, threw for 253 yards and two touchdowns before getting hurt on this TD pass to Justin McGriff. But Blake Anderson has said all along that he's confident in both of his quarterbacks. Bonner and Andrew Peasley. And Peasley came in through three touchdowns himself, one to Brandon Bowling, another one to the speedy Devin Tompkins, who had his third straight 100-yard receiving game, one of the top receivers in the nation. Utah State racked up 628 That's yards of big. total offense. That's big. They scored seven <laughs> touchdowns. The last one coming on the 61-yard run by Calvin Tyler Jr., who had 132 yards rushing. Aggies erased a double-digit deficit for the third straight game. They win at 49-45. West, this team is 3-0. It is time to get excited in Logan. How cool, especially when you consider what happened with the Aggies last year and how bad of a season it was with all the turmoil, everything that happened, and to come back this year with a brand new head coach, Blake Anderson. They're playing an up-tempo offense without his guys. I mean, he hasn't recruited his guys yet that he wants in that system. Well, Logan and to, Bonner's one of his guys from Arkansas State. And, but to do what he's doing up yeah. there now, and, and, and this team has come back from double-digit deficits in all, all three. three games. That's crazy. And come back and won them all. It's impressive. Just shows the resiliency that he has installed. That's Bonner going team. down. That's and he even came, came back. He How threw that touchdown pass, but it was out, and then he came back in. But Peasley, while he was in there, threw a couple of touchdowns. Utah State was down by 11 points a couple of times and just kept grinding there, and kept coming at the Air Force. There's so much speed on this team. It is so fun to watch Devin Tompkins and Calvin Tyler and Brandon Bowling and Justin McGriff. At the skill positions, these guys are loaded. And they I know the Mountain West is pretty up right now. Fresno State yeah, just right. beat UCLA. San Diego State just beat Utah. Boise State almost beat Oklahoma State. Interesting game this coming week. Gonna be a good one. 10 a.m. What? Breakfast with the Aggies. What? They're hosting the Broncos of Boise State. That is a monster one. Three and oh. I never thought they'd be receiving votes in the AP poll the next year after what happened last year. It's actually the coaches poll. But how about this? If, if BYU beats South Florida on Saturday and, and Utah State knocks off Boise State, it's going to be Utah, Utah, excuse <laughs> Utah, me, Utah State. State, BYU, both teams 4 0. 4 0. That'll be fun. That would be fun. That'll be fun. We did feel like we could match scores with them. I didn't expect the game to be near the high scoring game that it ended up being, but, um, but we did enough defensively. You know, we did enough to get the stop and put our offense in a position to go down and win it. And, and man, it was, you know, just huge play late to, to get ourselves in a position where we could hold it off. That's kind of our mentality is a bend, don't break. So they can get down there all they want, but as long as we get the stops when we need them, we're going to uh, produce winning football. 94 points in that one. Did you bet the over or the under on that one? <laughs> the Aggies, they're impressive. I like them. <laughs>